Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are out in the world. Welcome back to the American Legends Watch Channel. Today I've got another Citizen watch for you. I'm wearing a similar Citizen. This is a chronograph, what they call them, in their Bryson line, eco drive movement. Really big but lightweight titanium, and I'm going to be comparing it to this Blue Angels chronograph, which is an even more popular version of the EcoDrive movement in a similar size. Fancier stainless steel. Take a look at this here. I'll zoom on in. See this a little more clearly. Comparing the two, obviously, similar size, but the Blue Angels chronograph has a lot more going on on the dial. Let's take both of these off, hold them side by side. You can see the Blue Angels chronograph has the yellow accents, the yellow second hand, the yellow hands on the sub dials, little Blue Angels banner beneath the date window. On the back, it's got the Blue Angels crest back there. Some other information about the movement. You can get that in focus there. So lots of blue and yellow going on there. The dial itself is a more subtle, more of a matte dark blue, whereas the uh, Bryson that I have is it's a little bit of a sunburst finish to it. I, I, I kind of like the blue on the Bryson better, and that dark bezel, I think, gives the Bryson very good legibility. But the legibility here on the Blue Angels, which is what I want to focus on, it's not bad either, but there is so much going on the dial. It lacks the Arabic numerals around the dial itself, which I do think helps with legibility. The hands are not the big, broad sword hands that we get on the Bryson, but are more, more blunt kind of sword hands. I think both of these watches look complicated. They look fancy. That's part of their appeal. Very large, very masculine. Uh, but there's so much going on in both of these watches. It can be hard to use any of these fancy functions. One thing that really bothers me is how deep the date window is. It's barely, you can barely even see it, which is a shame because they're both perpetual calendars. You don't have to set the date. The Blue Angels is radio controlled. The Citizen Bryson here, you have to set it once and forget it. Um, it. Once you set the year and the date and the day and everything, it will keep track of it from there. The Blue Angels just is radio controlled, but you can barely even see the date unless you're in bright sunlight. So just a quick look at some of these uh, extra functions here. The Extra crown at the 8 o'clock adjusts the interior slide rule. So, uh, keeping that slide rule interior, like the Zin 903, uh, will help the water resistance. So, not an external slide rule like you would get on something like the traditional Breitling Nava timer. That bottom sub dial right now, when it's in timekeeping mode, is pointing to the little tiny letters that are the days of the week. So it's a Friday right now, so that little yellow is pointing to the fact that it is a Friday. That's a 24-hour dial up there, of course. And uh, we can access uh, some other features here. If we go in uh, to the top pusher, we can engage the chronograph mode. We get a 20th of a second running uh, counter on that bottom sub-dial. When we start the chronograph, we get single ticks from the chronograph hand, which is not my favorite, but some chronograph movements do that, like on the moon swatch, famously. And even some um, chronographs that I've seen from Dan Henry will have that, you know, split second uh, running sub dial there for a little while. When you're done with the chronograph, that's a start stop, reset traditionally on the bottom, and if you uh, bump it out of the chronograph mode with another hit of the reset button. Now we're back in timekeeping mode. We also get an indicator up here for whether we are in summer, in other words daylight savings time or not. We get a power reserve indicator there on the left of that top sub dial. 
and we get an indicator down here about whether it has radio reception or not. And if you pull out the, the uh, regular crown once, you can set the time zone for the second time zone. So right now that yellow hand is pointing at LAX. So I am not in LAX, I am in uh, the East Coast. So I can rotate the regular crown, and as I do that, the minute and seconds hand are going to take their sweet time <laughs> in proceeding to whatever the time is in that time zone that I've selected. And if I just want to check out what the time is there, I can just check that out and then dial it back to wherever my real time zone is, but this is effectively, if I now push that crown back in, it's setting the watch to be in that time zone. If that's what you want to do. Again, I'm back on the East Coast, so I'm going to pull that out one more time, dial it back, and it is tricky because those city names are basically on the chapter ring. So I have to hold it at an angle to even see each of those. They kind of disappear when you're looking at the watch face on. So, just so much going on on that dial. Put it back in New York City time, but it, it's gonna take its sweet time going back there for me. So I can bump it out of that mode and it will keep, keep doing that. Of course, on that interior ring, you're getting that slide rule scale and there's some conversions in there. Uh, if you wanna make use of the, uh, the logarithms and the math, there are lots of videos you can look up of how to take advantage of the slide rule scale on a pilot's watch like this or a Navitimer or a similar you know, Seiko Flight Master or whatever. A couple other uh, things you can do here with the dials to check what's going on. If you hit the lower right button, the reset button on the chronograph when it's in regular timekeeping mode, that's going to make the hand on the lower sub-register move from displaying the day of the week to telling you what reception it has. So right now it's telling me no. <laughs> it's not getting good radio reception. The options are okay at the top and no at the bottom. And then after a few seconds that will bump you back out of that and go back to the, the day of the week. Uh, if you look at the top right, it's currently telling me whether it thinks it's on uh, summer time, in other words daylight savings time. And it thinks that I am, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's incorrect. Uh, since it's February, currently here on the east coast of the USA, we are not in summertime. <laughs> so uh, you, I looked in the manual and you can manually correct that. And I think that's just because right now it's not getting good radio reception. Just a lot going on on that dial, but it's very handsome. And as I mentioned at the outset, chunky, heavy, stainless steel. I'll put the uh, relative weights on there, but just feeling it, the, the titanium Bryson is just kind of featherweight on the wrist, even at this large size. Whereas the Blue Angels is really a chunky piece of metal, especially on this bracelet. This is an upgraded bracelet tell with the clasps there. The Bryson has a traditional kind of stamped clasp. The uh, Blue Angels has a fully milled out clasp similar to the uh, Citizen Pro Diver that I reviewed previously. I'll put a link to that uh, here in the video. But that is definitely a beefier clasp. Has two adjustments there on the one side. Double push button deployant. It is uh, you know, very nicely done with the Citizen logo. They are engraved in much more deeply than on the clasp on my Titanium Bryson. So a much nicer, smoother finish, nicely done. I've only worn this sparingly since I bought this, uh, just really to review it. But just so far, that uh, bracelet feels like it's not gonna pull on the wrist hair nearly as much as this uh, titanium Bryson did, which is one reason why I stopped wearing it. And I went looking for other watches and kind of got me launched into many of these other watches I featured on the channel when I kind of retired this. I leave it in the windowsill. 
stays charged. Of course, both of these are an eco drive movement, so you have to leave them out in the light to some extent. If they're fully charged, you can leave them in a drawer for six months. And it's not going to hurt uh, the lithium ion power cell in there. I presume it's lithium ion. Uh, so you could put them away, but uh, you know, I just like to put them in a Ziploc bag, put them up on the windowsill. It'll keep the dust off. You'll get plenty of sunlight. As long as nobody's walking past your window, they might try to <laughs> bust your window to take it. I think you'd be in good shape. A couple of other things to note. You get a flat mineral crystal on both of these. I do like this uh, bezel on the Bryson with the big Arabic minute numerals, uh, 60, 10, etc. You don't get that on the Blue Angels. So again, I think that does hamper the readability on the Blue Angels. But a very handsome piece, a very masculine piece, very popular. You see this on the metal bracelet frequently. You see it on a dark blue thick leather strap that, that has some yellow accents as well, very commonly. You can pick them up used a lot cheaper than you can at uh, retail. You will find these at department stores and jewelry stores. Citizen now is pretty much everywhere. Target and Ross and just about anywhere you would look in a big box store. As well as online, Amazon is a uh, AD now for Citizen, has been for a long time. So if you like the blue, you like the yellow accents, you're looking for a masculine pilot's watch with all the chronograph goodness and all the extra features going on here. You'll love that it's radio controlled, solar powered. You won't have to worry about swapping out batteries or winding or maintenance per se. Uh, from my experience and knowing people that have had similar Citizen Eco Drive watches, they're probably going to be good with that power cell in there for a good 20 years. And by that time, you're probably going to be ready for something else. <laughs> now, a good mechanical watch, if you keep it up, of course, is going to last practically forever. When the power cell dies in one of these, who knows whether Citizen will service that or not. These case backs, uh, this case back here on the Blue Angels, really not obviously. Uh, meant to be opened the case back on the Bryson does screw open but it warns you not to do that <laughs> so buyer beware and if you found this uh, review helpful please like and subscribe for more reviews try to uh, feature more uh, everyday watches like this popular watches uh, if you want to see one in particular reviewed hit me up in the comments let you know let me know what you think about these handsome citizen watches until then god bless and have fun out there